Welcome to my channel. I'm here today to give you the recipe for my fish tacos that I've been making for a while now. Greg loves them. And everybody on our channel, Meet the Love Alls, is asking for this recipe. So here I am to deliver that right now, finally. So let me get started. So when I make these fish tacos, the first thing I do, usually I do it the night before. I like to marinate the fish between six to eight hours. Preferably overnight, but if you can't swing overnight, then definitely at least six hours. So the marinade is about three-fourths cup of virgin olive oil, six tablespoons of distilled white vinegar, six tablespoons of fresh lime juice, or I usually I like to use this real lime juice in a bottle that you can find. I think they have it in the baking section. I can never remember where to find this, but it's either in the juice section or in the baking section. I think it's in the juice section though. But I like to use this if I don't wanna get fresh limes. You can use also the lime zest. So I'll do like two tablespoons of lime zest or just whatever you want. Like some people don't like as much lime, some people like a little more lime. It really just depends on your own desires. But I put fresh lime zest. I did about two tablespoons. A fourth cup of honey just to make that really, really sweet. And I like using honey just to make the marinade a lot sweeter. I like sweeter marinades for my meats typically, and this is really good, so I usually load on the honey. A tablespoon to two tablespoons of garlic. You can never go wrong with garlic, so I always kind of load up on the garlic. One and a half teaspoons of cumin, one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of seafood seasoning, such as Old Bay, which is the one that I use, one and a half teaspoons of ground black pepper, and about three teaspoons of paprika. I use smoked paprika, but you can use sweet paprika, whatever paprika you have. For hot sauce, you can use as little or as much hot sauce as you want but I usually put a good amount in there. I would say I used about six tablespoons of hot sauce. I also put in about three tablespoons of brown sugar, and I like to use the Truvia brown sugar. It just has stevia in it. I prefer that, but if you want to use regular brown sugar, use regular brown sugar. So all I do is take all these ingredients that you see, and I mix them all together. I put foil in the pan, and then I lay the fish in the pan and I pour the marinade all the way over the fish. I use a lot of marinade because I really want my fish to be saturated in it. So I always make sure that they're as covered as possible. Then I stick it in the refrigerator and then I let it marinate for between six to eight hours if I'm doing it same day. But I prefer to let the fish marinate overnight. So now it's time to actually prepare the fish. I'm going to make the sour cream and adobo sauce that you put into the fish tacos that is so good. It gives it that extra like kick and zest that is so perfect. And what I do here, it calls for about eight ounces of sour cream, but Greg and I typically try to steer as much away from fatty things as possible, which is very difficult because we love food. And usually in place of sour cream, I use Greek yogurt. So first things first, make sure you wash your hands. What you're gonna need is your Faye or whatever Greek yogurt that you like. I just make sure that it's the plain kind, not vanilla or any type of flavor. Just the plain 0% Faye yogurt or light sour cream or regular sour, sour cream or whatever you prefer. So put approximately eight ounces in a bowl. The chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. The adobo sauce is really what I want out of this. I don't know if you can buy the adobo sauce. I feel like I've bought it just adobo sauce before, but it was really thick and hard to get out of the bottle, and it was a glass bottle. But I found this, and it's very tasty, and it tastes the same. But you can take it, and you can blend all of the peppers together and make it really, really spicy, but the, adobo, or the, the chipotle peppers are pretty hot, so I typically, I like to just take the sauce out of the can and not use the peppers. I typically try to get about a fourth of a cup Sometimes more, sometimes less, just depending on how spicy I want it. All right, so I take my can, and all I do is take a spoon and just pour the sauce in a measuring cup, trying not to get the peppers in the measuring cup, because I'm not gonna use those. Get as much sauce as you can. If peppers fall in, you can just pull them out. There's a lot of peppers in here. 
But like I said, if you want to use them, if you want it to be a little bit spicier, then go for it. But here I have about a half a cup of the sauce. I'm not going to use all of it. I'm just going to use about a fourth a cup this time. Just mix it up. Mix it together. If you get a little bit of the pepper in the sauce while you're trying to strain it, don't worry about it. It's not going to hurt you. They're really good, but just try not to get like the big peppers in there. After you mix the Greek yogurt and the adobo sauce together, you want to get your lime juice out. I'm going to use two tablespoons. Mix that together. I'm going to use just a little bit of lime zest. So I'm going to take a lime and I'm just going to take a grater and zest it into the mixture. And obviously wash off the lime first. We're going to do about a fourth teaspoon of cumin a fourth teaspoon of chili powder, a half teaspoon of seafood seasoning such as Old Bay, salt and pepper to taste, some people like a little, some people like a lot, and a dash of paprika. I would say that's about maybe a fourth of a teaspoon. Then you just mix it up. So that's done. Now I need to go and preheat the oven. I'm gonna take some vegetable oil, Spray the foil, take my corn tortillas, and spray them with vegetable oil, very lightly. After I lightly spray my corn tortillas, I'm going to prepare them to be put into the broiler. I'm only going to broil them until they just slightly brown and start to bubble. Then I'm going to flip them over and get the other side nice and brown as well. Make sure to keep your eye on them because it's not gonna take long for them to brown. You don't wanna burn them. And you also don't wanna set your house on fire. So just make sure that you keep an eye on those tortillas. Don't walk away from them for too long and check them every couple minutes. Now let's get this fish in the pan. They look perfect. Yummy. I'm gonna flip over the tortillas very carefully. You don't want to burn yourself. Just remember that all you're trying to do is to lightly brown the tortillas so they're warm and a little bit more chewy for the tacos. And while you're waiting for the fish to cook and the tortillas to be done in the broiler, you want to prepare all of your toppings. I use cabbage and I use tomatoes, but I'm just going to cut up some of this cabbage and cut, dice these tomatoes. I always remove the first layer because it's been sitting in the grocery store. People have been touching them and all that stuff. And even if you wash it, I'm just weird about stuff, so I always take off the first layer. And don't forget to wash your vegetables really well. Your tomatoes and your cabbage, wash them really well before you cut. Now the fish is ready to be flipped over. I like to cook the heck out of my fish because I don't typically eat fish because I don't like the texture, but if I cook it long enough so it's really, really flaky, then I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. Look at how beautiful these look. They're absolutely perfect. So you can make as many or as few as you want. I'm gonna go ahead and make another batch because I think we're gonna eat a good amount of tacos today. I think Greg is pretty hungry after a long day of work. And now I just wait until the fish is done being cooked. I have my vegetables cut, my tortillas are done, and the fish is just cooking. Then I can put the tacos together and then we'll be ready to eat. When you assemble the tacos, obviously you can put them together however you want, but this is how I do it. I take a tortilla, which is nice and chewy, then I take some of my fish, then I take my adobo sauce and spread it on. I use a lot of adobo sauce. I take some of my tomatoes, sprinkle them on top, 
and some cabbage, which really adds a lot of flavor. And there you have it, fish taco. Moment of truth. Mm, success. Really good. If you guys try this recipe, take a picture of it, post it on Instagram, hashtag meet the love alls, and hashtag Shauna Marie B. Let me know how you liked it. And also, if you like this video, if you want more recipes, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, and help us to continue growing our family. Bye loves, enjoy.